What is your weakness? This is yet another tough interview question that will always pop up. Without preparation, this question can feel confusing and even offensive. At the same time, with the right structure and a pre-thought answer, you will cruise through this question with confidence. Let's get you ready. Hi, it's Lassie Albin. Welcome to my channel where I share weekly tips and advice on how to accelerate your career. So be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell button down below. At any interview, you can count on a set of 10 or so core questions that will be asked. Tell me about a weakness of yours is one of those questions. It can come in different forms like what is your weakness? Tell me about a weakness. What would you like to improve in yourself? Or is there something that we could help to improve you with? They're asking for the same thing. So why is the interview asking this question? It allows him or her to analyze how self-aware you are, how comfortable and confident you are in talking about your improvement areas. And finally, if you are telling the truth. An experienced interviewer will see through you in case you're trying to get away with something that is semi-baked. What about the no-goes of answering this question? Number one is never answer that you have no weaknesses. We are all human beings with our flaws and areas of, of potential improvement. Not having a weakness indicates that you are not a self-aware enough. And this is a big risk for the hiring party. Number two is don't camouflage a strength into a weakness. Interviewers will smell this a mile away and it will just destroy your credibility. Telling that you are a perfectionist is a very common wrong answer to this question. Number three, don't highlight a weakness that is a core skill for delivering results in this position. For example, if the position requires a lot of public speaking, having weak communication skills will not fly as a weakness. In that case, you're either applying for the wrong position or are underplaying your own communication skills. Rethink which one it is and act accordingly. So now that we know why this question is being asked and what are the absolute no-goes, let's get into building a good answer. Step one is to pick a weakness that you recognize in yourself and would like to get better at. Make sure that your weakness is something that occurs only in a specific work situation and is something that you already are trying to improve. Here are three examples that I personally like. However, feel free to pick your own based on what matches best. Number one, it's difficult for me to say no, indicating that you have too much stuff on your plate and might struggle getting quality work done. Number two, I get impatient when projects are falling behind, indicating that you might go into a pushy commander mode at times to hit the deadline. Number three, I analyze previous project results for too long, indicating that you have a challenge in getting the learnings from the project, letting it go and releasing bandwidth for other important projects. Step two then is to craft the answer around your identified and selected weakness. Let me use number three. I analyzed previous project assignment results for too long as an example. A good answer will one, state the weakness, two, provide the context where it happens and what were the consequences it has. Three, describe how you are tackling the weakness and four, state there is still plenty of room for improvement. An example answer could look like this. My greatest weakness is that I tend to overanalyze the results of my projects and spend too much time attached to them. This time spent in evaluating what went well and what could have been better hinders me from fully focusing on my future projects. To help myself improve in this area, 
I've started to set up deadlines for my own project results wrap. I use a self-developed template to run through the pros and cons and ensure that I swiftly move, move on to the, give focus to the future projects. Although I have made progress in this area, I acknowledge that there is still a good amount of work to be done. So now you're ready to craft your own answer to this big interview question. And in case you're interested in preparing for other top interview questions, download my free copy of the top 10 interview questions, no goals and good answers. The link you can find below in the video description or up here. If you found this video useful, give it a like, share and subscribe for future videos to accelerate your career. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.